Alright, let's play something with this sketch and uh, I'm trying to make it moving and uh, using the technique that uh, we learned at the last video. Um, so, let's get started. So first, let me uh, help you to solve one problem. Is that uh, while you already finished uh, like a 2D sketch and you want it to uh, to move, there are multiple ways of, uh, of, of doing that. It's like uh, tackling a problem that you got multiple ways to solve this and uh, different ways have different advantage and disadvantage. Let me show you that. Okay, so first let me just to get this timeline. Okay, because you know, um, you, know you have to add this a uh, keyframe in order for it to work. Okay, so if you haven't got that, you need to add a new like a new window and click this and we got this timeline. You have to select this in order for the animation to work. And if you haven't noticed that I mistakenly uh, like uh, choose the 24th frame, I don't know whether it's automatic or I accidentally got that, uh, it's okay. Okay, uh, so if you accidentally got something keyframe, you can just delete this. And then you can just, uh, you know, select that to the uh, uh, the first frame, okay. So of course you can just use this tool, okay. Jump to the end point, okay, and then you got the first frame. But if you got a first frame, you will notice that hey, where's your drawing? Don't worry, it's still there, okay. Uh, what you're gonna do is just you know, just to make this go appear here. So if you click this go, it will just uh, uh, appear to the twenty fourth frame, uh, which is okay per se, but the I uh, sort of wanted to uh, go to the start. So here is the thing, you can just click it and you can drag it all the way to here. And once you're at the current frame, so the, the window above will only show the current frame, and uh, uh, except when you got some audience skin option that I switch on that uh, you can see the previous and uh, uh, yeah, just, uh, just, just a adjacent frame, all right? Uh, so uh, right now you got this, um, Amazing sketch. You got multiple ways to tackle this. The first uh, is the the first way is of course um, I think I recommend this is right now the line is very very messy, and uh, you can't use the interpolation at least in my opinion, uh, in, from my experience, you can't use the interpolation because you can't possibly track how many stroke that you have. And you have to be very, very precise with the very clean uh, line art or clean drawing, a very simplified version of something like the, the Kiss character, something like that, uh, in order for this trick to work. Um, if you, uh, yeah, if you have to use this trick, you might encounter some problem like this. So let me just show you, right? So right now, uh, what I'm th uh, thinking is that uh, I will, I like to add this girl, right? Add this girl, a keyframe here, and. Uh, um, then maybe um, you know. Um, then I can duplicate this to to a future. Okay, I I can't possibly draw a very complex drawing uh, from beginning and frame by frame. Okay, we can't do that. So here's the trick. Um, you can just select this frame, and you can just uh, Shift and D to duplicate this. Once you duplicate it, then you can drag. Okay. You can drag all the way to uh, maybe six or a frame or something like that, or maybe just twenty frame. You just drag this, and then you can you can you, you can you can change, and then you can add what is in between. Okay, so for example, the uh, frame by frame way of doing things is that uh, you can duplicate multiple uh, keyframes. Okay, you can do duplicate. Uh, let me just duplicate a keyframe like this, and duplicate a keyframe like this, and duplicate a keyframe like this. Okay, maybe just uh, duplicate all the way to 40. And once you are finished with this, you can do something like, uh, for example, I can make this go like, um, maybe just erase everything here. Okay, I can just uh, make it like a blink. Okay. And uh, then this part we can make it. Okay, and I think I can duplicate this as well, but here, here it just open and then this uh, may be close. So this is just a frame by frame solution, um, which is a good way and very convenient way. 
Okay, so let's do this. Go back and uh, ship linked. Okay, so uh, it's uh, pretty much like a GIF. Okay, like a GIF, and you can you can right now you can just share that with your friends something like that. <laughs> okay, you you already got that this is more animation working, but but if you want to say uh, hey we already know that's interpolation okay so you might say hey I can just uh, you know the computer is so powerful I can make computer to do this uh, like in between things so I I can rest okay you might think that hey I'm gonna just going to draw and interpolate okay and then you just start going uh, draw and interpolate okay and then you just go here and draw and interpolate and you might expect something like hey once you got that we got a beautiful girl blinking but what the heck is that and uh, that's the problem i'm talking about okay that's the reason why i don't recommend using this method because like see it doesn't work this way because blender can't possibly know which stroke that you're referring so while you just uh, you know you raise some part of the stroke you break the connection between the different dots and once you break that and you add a specific stroke they will just uh, you know uh, maybe they just uh, get some stroke from the hair and try to move the hair back to the eye okay so that's the reason why the interpolation does not work they will just work like crazy as you guys can see they kind of recompose this character okay so that's definitely not the way to go. So there are um, different solutions to this problem. One solution is that if you have to use this sketch, you want to animate this sketch, first just use frame by frame, okay? Just to add more keyframes that do hard work. <laughs> and of course, uh, if you don't want that, there's another way, is that to make part of the, uh, part of the sketch um, like animatable okay so just to separate for example the mouse so it's a very tiny part so um uh, let me show you what i what i mean by this okay so for example if you want to like interpret that uh you're not going to add a keyframe like this uh, and draw that erase that okay you're going to just uh, yeah, yeah just delete everything and uh, what i'm going to do is you just to say erase the mouse okay so the mouse part is like a single part that I want to animate. Okay, so for example, R E S H I T E L U, something like that. Okay, some amazing uh, Japanese uh, meaning that uh, I've been loving uh, you for a pretty long time. Something like I should tell you that. It's like a very uh, you know famous, um, you know, to express love and, and, and speak it out. Something like that. And uh, yeah, uh, you got an idea. And um, yeah so uh, you can do something like this okay so first yeah i think i can uh, just uh, draw a single line here okay so let me just do this okay i i said i uh, maybe a bigger mouse so remember two stroke stroke does matter okay one stroke two stroke i okay i I e so it's uh, like a flatter a little bit. So what I'm gonna do is not to redraw that. Okay, if you redraw that, uh, especially a very complex image, you might uh, yeah, miss a little bit. So what I'm gonna do is to just uh, duplicate this whole frame, and maybe just uh, go to twenty, maybe uh, like uh, do that slowly. Um, yeah, maybe just a uh, ten. Okay. So once I duplicate that, um, <laughs> yeah, this is a very interesting. So I, and uh, uh, let's uh, let's just duplicate this again, and uh, yeah, I, th I think I already duplicated. Sorry about that. Uh, I just pulled that. Uh, you know, I got I got a phone call, and um, um, so there are two ways of doing this. One is that you wipe that out, and you remember two stroke. You know, one upper lips, the other downward lips. But there's another way, okay? So instead of using draw mode, you can use a sculpt mode, okay? And uh, a sculpt mode is kind of a, what I think is a safe way of doing things. 
uh, because you know if you use uh, drawing, you might just miss one or two stroke. Okay, and that is that's bad. And uh, as you guys can see, if you just uh, you know uh, erase something and draw something, then uh, the whole drawing just uh, got break. So the uh, sculpt mode can gradually change. Okay, so for example, the first one's I is I tell you. So the the second frame will be I I. So it should be like E, like going down a little bit. So what I'm gonna do is to like uh, using a grab brush. Okay, so. Uh, I choose this push. It's not like a grab, push or grab. It doesn't, yeah. I kind of just the same, but just a different, you know, uh, style for for this. Uh, let me just uh, uh, just push it down a little bit. I think that's uh, too much of the push. So what I'm going to do is just go uh, bigger. E E E. Okay, I E. Okay, so I got I, right, and uh, of course, then you can insert the keyframe. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is to sorry, draw mode and draw and interpret the sequence. So, so let's uh, let, let's start from uh, beginning. I okay, so it's very smooth. Okay, I so it's so like a really squeeze down te lu I think e and sh uh I e sh te te and e is uh it's like the same so uh here I'm going to you know <laughs> just uh save a little bit of time so I e sh te lu uh she she and lu is like the same okay so I'm going to duplicate this okay duplicate this stroke uh, but uh, sorry, I think it's uh, it's the wrong keyframe. Um, okay, I think it's this one. Okay, so I can duplicate, but leave it uh, maybe here. I think maybe this is not okay. Uh, this one. Okay, I e she te lu. So this frame and this frame should be the same. So what I'm going to do is to. Um, Maybe just duplicate that, okay? Just duplicate it here. Uh, I think I can I can just use this same frame, okay? Te uh, maybe just do that. Maybe uh, do a quick sculpt, okay? So I e she so it's that like sh sh so it's uh, very small, okay? Let me just quickly do that sculpt that, okay? Sh Okay. I e she te lu. Okay, so I think uh, this keyframe lu. Okay, I'm not very good at the uh, you know the, the lip reader lu. <laughs> yeah. Uh, then um you can do this um uh, draw mode draw interpolate. Okay, and uh, draw interpolate sequence. Okay, and then draw interpret sequence. Okay, let's just uh, move out a little bit. Okay, here. So let's do this. I tell you. Yeah, so it's very smooth. And of course, the interpolation in between can be changed while you are adding that, okay? So for example, you are adding this, this, and this, okay? While you are adding all this keyframe, you can, uh, let me just delete all this keyframe because uh, I think uh, I can demonstrate this uh, using another, uh, yeah, just delete keyframe and I can delete this keyframe as well. So uh, instead of just uh, adding that linearly you can do something um, like this so you can just uh, I think I might as well just to make it very quick because um, right now this seems like too slow okay let me get it more condensed this is the first thing and the second thing is that while you are doing this uh, um, adding okay draw 
and I interpret it, okay? While you're doing that, do not click anywhere else because if you look at here, we got interpret sequence. As I promised, um, I'm going to introduce you guys how to do this uh, like a customization. You can go linear, it's like a, you, you interpret things smoothly. So from point A to point B, we just go smoothly. Okay, so there's no speed change. But what you can do is do something like a back bounce elastic. You know, we can, you can go easing. I can uh, just uh, using different, uh, you know, something like a quadratic, uh, quadratic, uh, cubic, something like that. It's just uh, like a, uh, this is uh, like a function that uh, you can use as a preset. Uh, but of course, you can use a custom. Okay, so the custom basically uh, like easy in, uh, quick change and easing out. Okay, so uh, you can click one point and you can add a specific point and you can make it smooth. So this is like smooth and drastic change and smooth. Uh, I love this like a smooth change is you can yeah give you like a crisp list of change but also uh, adding a little bit smooth uh, so it's not so jarring okay so you can do something like this once you are finished with this uh, it will just automatically add that okay as you guys can see I already add this and uh, let's see the result okay I think um, even without the change it still works pretty good uh, each delu. Uh, and uh, of course you can add all the keyframe inside okay so what I'm going to do is to I think uh, do I add? okay uh, this is just add frame I can just uh, draw and interpret what is in between and I can use this uh, custom interpolation as well and then draw interpolate use this and draw interpolate use this so it'll be like a smooth slow motion like you are going away and I still look and it's a, it's a go data and I think I just uh, yeah um, make this uh, maybe just to get rid of the grid okay um, let me just uh, make it bigger let's see the result so I still do. I still do. Yeah, something like that. Okay, this is a really, really uh, interesting and uh, amazing experience. Um, so you don't need to do the frame by frame, especially if some uh, some guys talking. And of course, there is a, a a way of doing lip sync. Okay, I'm going to show you in the later tutorial. Okay, I'm going to just uh, use that specific video to dedicate to that because uh, you know. Uh, if you are doing animation, sometimes uh, the pose maybe just the one is it, it, the same. Okay, just two guys standing here, and uh, you can use you can use the node to uh, and modifier to make uh, the line slightly change a little bit and add some noise modifier, and uh, so the the you know the guy is just uh, like moving here and sway a little bit, and of course you can just manually sculpt that if you have some specific design to to this and of course you can just do that automatically and just uh, like this like a uh, like like sway a little bit okay just chilling and say hey what about that okay so uh, it can save you a huge uh, amount of uh, your budget so you can um, yeah produce a decent deep um, animation with a uh, very limited uh, budget and then you can add a lip sync uh, like this okay you can add lip sync and uh, um, of course you can use the scope or, or use the uh, interpolation tool to do that okay so um, uh, this is the second uh, way of, uh, of doing the first uh, way of doing of course is the frame by frame uh, the second way is to choose single out a specific part that you want to uh, interpolate and uh, then you can uh, make it interpolate and of course uh, you can add say multiple parts okay so if you, for example you want uh, the eye to blinking it's best to just to you know erase the eye and um, and then you just make one eye and two eye and movement something like that and make it interpolate but just to make a line very simple so that's the reason why I uh, think that the sketch is not a very good way to use this technique normally uh, I would use uh, like a very clean line like the finished drawing okay or very simple design and um, I used that to uh, quickly generate 
uh, the uh, like the tradition. Okay. So yeah, uh, I think that's uh, all for this video. And don't forget, it's very important for me to subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumb up. Thank you so much for your support. This channel won't um, like survive and uh, yeah continue to work without you guys' support. So thank you so much. And if you want to support me directly, please join the Patreon. And uh, see you next video. Peace.